Okay. Hey guys, hello fellows and humans. Just, okay, I have to talk about Resident Evil 7 here. And straight away, I'll go say, it looks like a load of bloody shit from a dead cow. Yeah, yeah, but that's how I feel about it. I'm sorry, but I for one love the Resident Evil franchise, including 5 and 6. Hell, 6 is one of my favourite games I've ever played, to be honest. Um, you know, I've played it multiple times, and I, I love it. And I love Was It Evil for what it is and what it has become. I'm sorry, but that series was never much for survival horror. First game, yes, I will admit, first game was very much a survival horror. Other games, just no. In my opinion, there's too many bullets and weapons to make this a survival horror franchise. And make it scary, it's not. First one, yes, the others, no. That's, that's just my opinion. It's just like, it, yes, I get why it's called a survival horror, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's a survival horror that everyone remembers. It being, you know, like being like some, like, really scary or like, you know, limited bullets. It's like, no, that's, no, not really. Go back and play it, you can easily play it on PS3 or whatever, play it places one. But, like, you get loads of bullets, trust me. I've, I have never thought of this as a horror series, but I have always enjoyed them. I love Resident Evil, trust me, even the movies I love, for goodness sake, just because it's Resident Evil, and I, I love everything Resident Evil. And I, I love the way Revelations 1 and 2 were. Yes, they are that scary to me, but they have moments in them, but I don't honestly give a goddamn shit. Huh, and here we arrive at Resident Evil 7. I am so bloody pissed off about this game. This is not Resident Evil. This is not Resident Evil. This is a freaking indie game. Made by someone who thinks they know horror. Yeah, that's what this game is. Seriously, this looks like the most generic piece of shit I've ever seen. That any indie gamer can do. It's nothing new, and my, and my god, I am so pissed off that none of the other Azure characters are in it, you know, none of them get a turn, when this game is a numbered game. This looks like a spin-off game, and that would be totally fine by me. If this was a spin-off, that would be totally fine. I, I would understand that, try and do something new in a spin-off, yep, that's fine. You know, if it wasn't, I would argue about it, but oh, I will when this game is meant to be what it was said, meant to be like, you know, the big game on the next, next generation consoles. Okay, but like, my beef is, well, not with for the other characters not being in it, and new people entirely. It's just, worst of all, the first person view. This shit is being made because Oh, fans want horror, horror, even though it was survival horror, not horror. Dick sticks. <laughs> anyway, they are making it first person to give you that more horror experience, but not only that. But they are so fucking doing this for VR. They are so doing this for the virtual reality. Thank you for ruining a franchise. Thank you so much for that. I don't give a crap about VR. VR is just for goddamn YouTubers. And it's just that uh, people who watch those YouTubers. Like, no one would actually go out and buy it for the experience. No, they, they would rather watch people on YouTube do it. I'm so fucking sorry, but this looks like any goddamn indie game out there. Slenderman, Outlast, Soma, Colia, PT, Emily, and so on and so forth. Because this list will go on forever, trust me, because they all look goddamn sane. You know, just first person view, walking around, you don't do shit, you got like a monster that walks around and then yeah, you just gotta, you know, you can't even, you either can't do crap or you, or you do, do have limited things you can't do. If anything, that, in this game they'll probably give you little more things you can do, but probably, but from what, from what it looks like, no, you can't do that much shit in it. You know, and you know, what do they all look, all have in common in those games? They all look like what Wizard of the Seven will look like. A first person horror experience that I for one am not looking forward to, as it does not look like Resident Evil. First person is not Resident Evil. 
Don't you goddamn do this to such a beloved franchise. Again, make this a spin-off and I won't care or name it something else, just don't make it Wizard Evil. And don't get me started on the demos. Oh look, we can make scary PT shit too. I don't give a goddamn shit what the game doesn't look like. Why make a goddamn demo, demo of a game that's not even the game it's about? You, you you just fucking wasted hours on something to show, oh look, this is the kind of graphics you're going to get in this game. But it's not the game. So like, haha, we wasted hours upon hours to make this, instead of actually making a goddamn game, because you know it's shit. Haha. <laughs> we are going to get you excited for it anyway, because we are geniuses. Haha. <laughs> I hated the idea of PT. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people absolutely loved it. I'm not saying it's bad, I just absolutely goddamn hate it. Because they wasted hours making that instead of actually making the goddamn game. And it's not, that whole PT thing wasn't even game B in the game. It has nothing to do with the game. So what the hell was the whole point of making it when you wait, when, when it was about making an, a game? Making it look like, you know, this is what's going to sort of be in the game, this is what it's going to look like, then, you know, how about actually showing off the goddamn game? Even if you made a certain part of a game, uh, for the demo, but you know, like, like what Final Fantasy Duske du did. Um, yes, that part's in the game, but it was sort of more, more or less made for the demo. You know, then, you know, do, or, or no, you have the Platinum demo, the Platinum one's better. You know, that whole thing is just all for the demo. But it shows off the actual game. I, I hate game companies sometimes, I really, really do. It, it's just so pathetic that they caved into the demands of a horror game and they made it like any other game out there instead of making it unique like Resident Evil was. No, Resident Evil to me is dead if they, if they continue like this. I'm sorry, but I don't give a goddamn shit about this game. Well that's it for this video. Give it a like, which I doubt many people probably won't. But hey, it'd be interesting to see how many people actually uh, have the same opinion as me. And don't forget to su subscribe as well. Alright guys, bye for now. Ow, ow.